you are going to bring the lost sheep back to Jesus. You are going to save the soul. The Lord is going to extend your territory because he is going to make you the fishers of men. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God, Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God says that he shall extend your territory. He will expand your territory according to Joshua 1, 4. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon. The Lord God says in verse 5, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So this is the power of the living God. He says, if you obey my commandments, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Not only this, but if you live according to the word of God, if you have the word of God within you, if you obey his commandments, if you are a true believer, the Lord God says that he will extend the territory and the territory will be in such a way that you will be moved from desert to oasis. You will be moved from the dead to the living. But you must be the true believer. And this is the reason I preach about the true anointing, the true fellowship with the living God. Being a true believer is very important. Being the servant of the living God, being Christ minded, having the love of the living God within you, having the true Jesus within you is so important. When you are faithful in the little, when you are faithful in anything and everything, only then, my beloved ones, the Lord will extend your territory because in that case, when you are faithful in the little, you are ready to move ahead and be extended, be expanded to another level. So this time, the Lord God says, whatever little he has given you, he has blessed you with, you have received it with great value. Whatever little seed he had given you, he has made you sow it in the kingdom of God and you obeyed it. So obedience is the key. As I always say, obedience is very important. Obedience is the key. He doesn't expect sacrifice, but he wants you to obey. Obey in the difficult matters, obey in the unusual things, obey in the unusual circumstances, unusual places. Obey for the godly cause in the unusual way, unusual thinking. So your thought process should be led by the Holy Spirit and it is obviously against your flesh. So he will always ask you to do what you don't want to do, what you never thought of doing it, what you never wanted to do, what you are not willing to do. So it is not your willingness, but his willingness. In such a case, my beloved ones, he will expand your territory from desert to oasis. In Joshua 1 verse 6, it says, Be strong and courageous because he will lead this people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. So the Lord is giving you promises of inheritance. The Lord is giving you promises of a new land, of prosperity, of property, of the inheritance on earth as it is in heaven. But my beloved ones, the Lord God says, be strong and courageous in your promised land, in the land that the Lord God has blessed you with, in the land where the Lord God wants you to serve him. You must come to him with the heart full of servantship. In Psalms 54 verse 6 in MSG version, it is written, I am ready now to worship so ready. I thank you God, you are so good. You got me out of every scrap and I saw my enemies get it. In other version we have, I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. So the heart that is of the servant, the heart full of servantship is the heart that loves the Lord truly because you have given your life to the Lord and you are ready to obey him. And if you are ready to obey him, the obedience is needed to serve him, to serve the Lord, to give service to the Lord. That's why you must be the obedient vessel. Now when the Lord God has seen your faithfulness and that you trust the Lord in anything and everything. Now the Lord God says that you will not be limited. Your finances will receive the breakthrough. 
your ministry will receive the breakthrough your relationships will be expanded you will have happy life you will have good relationships you will have good blessings you will have renewed blessings so there will be no more of stagnancy but there shall be the breakthrough that you need breakthrough in healing breakthrough in deliverance breakthrough in salvation breakthrough so that you will serve the lord zealously breakthrough so that you will bring his people to him breakthrough so that you will lead god's people to god those who have the heart for the living god you will bring them out of the dead to the living my beloved ones this is the ministry of salvation this is the ministry of reconciliation to god our father through our lord god jesus christ you cannot be reconciled to the heavenly father without jesus so you are going to bring his people back to him you are going to bring the lost sheep back to jesus you are going to save the soul the lord is going to extend your territory because he is going to make you the fishers of men in the mighty name of jesus amen